Okay, I'm uh, going to put <laughs> these pads the right way because I keep getting messages on my uh, videos that I have these on backwards. Yes, I know it, but I put them on the wrong side on purpose. Uh, I'm going to make some mods, so I just wanted to see... Uh, basically gather some data before I did it. Anyways, so uh, while I'm here, um, to get to the motherboard, which is right here under the front part of the cover seat, whatever you want to call it, the way to get to it is you remove this guy. Gotway uh, has glued these down, so uh the seat down so the way to get to it you uh the glue part is here uh around here and on the back here um what i would do once you remove it use velcro so it is easier to take uh on and off so just you know grab the sides and keep rocking it back don't yank on it because you may rip the seat just uh, on a nice warm day, uh, remove it and just pull on the front. I've already done it. And just work your way to release the glue. And then after that, it should just If I had put my seats on the right, uh, pads the right way, there we go. And then there's a slit here next to the handle. You just work it through, get rid of the glue at this part. There, and the glue, be careful here, this is the thinnest part, so don't yank on it. This part here is to get to the motherboard. Don't unscrew anything. These these two four screws are just to hold the buzzer in place and the on and off motor stop switch onto this guy. You see where the silicone parts there? These are the clips, so you just have to work around it. Open it up. Let me see if, if can I put this down. Yeah. The clips are right there, so you just be gentle or you're going to snap the... You can use a screwdriver. Get a thin screwdriver to get under it. Be gentle. There we go. Get out of my way, camera. Shorter with the grip. Okay, the side is out, there, and there. And there's where the motherboard sits. The fins are on the underside with the embedded fan right there. I believe this is going to be one of the coolest uh, running uh, bigode wheels so that's for the motherboard and then this 
guy here is two, four, six screws. That comes off and that is where the each battery pack wires are going into here. And then the circuit board under here, which has to do with your charging and uh, discharge port to the motherboard, etc. And that's where your charge port is. So, in my opinion, one of the easiest wheels to get to to change motherboard or DC board. Alrighty, when I do something else next, I'll do you another video. Tally ho.